I'm not much of a ball bag, I'm sitting squeaking, man, you know what I mean? You are a clown. Never mind making noises, ooh ah, ooh ah, you ain't got a hard man or something. If you ain't got a hard man, go on here and talk with your real voice. Come on, big tough guy. Get in here with your real voice, because I know who you are anyway. There'll be two chances of that happening. No chance. But he's not got a pair of balls. Mind them, Neil. Don't take the bait. They're just a bunch of clowns. I know. MM6 NWH. Because I said I called you last night as well, and I turned uh, a CB on channel 16, and I heard you uh, admitting to using scanners and things in the background, sitting eerie wigging on here. Chinese curry. 
I heard my hang me. I heard, I heard my call sign being taken in vain there, you know, by that Jason Dolan character who doesn't even have a license, you know. Trying to name and shame myself and my good friend, Mr. 2M0 there for the jamming. If anybody would like to have a big clock at the signal, you know, or listen to the audio, they will know that I don't do any jamming, you know. I'm not a jammer. But anyway, enough said there, because I'm not about to come on here and start proclaiming anything. I don't need to. Exactly, and up there. Well, you've been up there anyway, Joe. I've not seen you in ages. Not a lot, mate. I'm looking forward to Santa coming, so I am. Do you know how long it is, Neil? It's two days, 23 hours and 30 minutes exactly. That's sad knowing that. Well, I've got a wee boy nine years of age, and I mean, come on, he's counting the minutes. <laughs> I see a wee boy doing it, but I don't see you doing it. Aye, well, I'm helping him with his maths, you know, I'm keeping the clock for him. <laughs> Alright. I got myself up, but I didn't, sorry, I'll rephrase that. Santa's getting me one of these uh, fuel truggies, Neil. A one eight scale uh, nitro truggy. Alright, a buggy. What, petrol, remote controlled. <laughs> Aye, no, it's not a buggy, it's a truggy, you know, it's a truck cross one, you know, it's like a buggy, but it's got the kind of. See if you can imagine a Ford F-150 pickup. It, it looks like that, you know, it's got the back boot, a Mitsubishi animal type idea. Just ask what she's up to. Hello, I don't think Yeah, and ask her who she's where, what she's doing and stuff. Yeah, uh, alright. Now I'm just... What's... Uh, what was... What did you say a druggie was there? Somebody was talking to me. <laughs> I know you don't even get it, you don't get it, you're either talking to me or them in the background. Uh, MM6, GBN, MM6, November, Whiskey Hotel, it's a, a, tr a truggy, instead of buggy, there's a T in front of it, you know. It's a cross between a truck and a buggy, you know. See, like a Mitsubishi animal or a warrior, you know, one of these kind of flatbed trucks. Only it has the raised four-wheel drive, no all-terrain suspension of a buggy. Roger. Oh, it's a bad boy, mate. It's got a twin 27.4 uh, bull start engine on it, you know. It's it's quite a beastie, mate. 50 miles an hour out of the box, man. Comes with the radio installed and everything's already in it, you know. All I need to do is stick the wheels on it. Must have that cost. Oh, oh a pretty packet. Santa bought me it. The missus got it, you know. Uh, it was a quarter of a bag of sand. Alright. Cool. What radio are you using this way? I know you still at 2000. Alright, wait a minute. Still the same old, mate. Still the same old. Try and wait for a key the next time, Neil. It's gonna time out if you don't, man. It's gonna hang me. Um, I still at 2000, mate. MM6 GBN. MM6 November Whiskey Hotel. Roger. I'm using my weekend mood. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. It's sounding okay anyway, you know, sounding nice and strong. Been doing any DX recently? You've been on HF or anything like that? Been, been busting any big signals out? Ah, just 10 metres. Ah, I tend to be pretty good recently. You know, there's been um, American repeaters and things like that coming in and uh, lots of South America, you know, but there's all and China and that. Been quite a bit on 10. I'm restricted at the moment. I've only got a long wire and I, and I seem to find the wire working better on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in my throat. <clears> throat. I seem to find the wire working better on kind of 15, 17, you know. It's not as great on 10. Um, but I am still working a bit, you know. I got one there a morning there, where was it? J Jakarta or something like that, you know. It was pretty good. Alright. I go into the Pacific. But did you get into the Pacific? Aye, yeah, a big ocean. Uh, I've got a, a, I've got a claim to fame, you know, you may even have heard this. I worked at Hotel Kilo 9 station, you know, Hotel Kilo 9, HK9, uh, Wake Island, you know, it's miles away, man, it's away off the coast of Japan, mate, it's, when you look at it on a map for where we are, you're like, ah, that's Christ, that's from the other side of the world, you know. Right on the other side of the bar. Oh, well, see when you imagine, see when the bar's rolled out flat, see, see a square map, we just kind of, Offset centre, you know, to kind of the northwest. This is kind of 
southeast, mate, and a way, way, way down at the bottom corner, you know, a way, way down. Uh, Wake Island Hotel, Kilo 9. It's past, hang on a wee second, I've got a map here on the wall. It's, um, it's a way round, it's over Australia, fellas, put it that way, you know, for where we are, it's over Australia. Alright. 